In this TA Tech Tip, we'll be setting up your torsion rectangular geometry on your Discovery Hybrid Reometer. The rectangular torsion geometry is used to analyze solids material, and when mounted to the DHR, you can use the ETC, the Environmental Test Chamber, for temperature control. The rectangular torsion geometry kit includes an upper and lower smart swap geometry. The kit also includes the appropriate tools, clamp base, and spacers required for the measurement. After installation of the upper and lower geometry, go to the Geometry tab in TRIOS and open the Geometry Settings window. Measure and enter the appropriate dimensions of the steel bar used for compliance. There is no need to measure a length as this will be measured by the instrument gap. So for my sample, I need to enter the width of 11.05 and the thickness of 3.01. Notice the For Information tab. There are dimensions of the clamp face and spacers required to mount the sample. Locate the appropriate spacer from the kit and place on the upper and lower geometry. The 3.5 mm spacer will always be used on the front side of the sample, so with the groove side facing in, place on both geometries. Now that all the spacers are mounted, just finger tighten all four hexagonal fasteners. With the geometry spacers fastened, the inertia, friction, and compliance calibrations can be performed. Click on the Calibration tab and expand the Inertia Calibration. Click Calibrate to initiate the Inertia Calibration. After completed, accept the calibration parameters and move on to the next calibration. Expand the Friction Calibration and press Calibrate. Again, this calibration will take 30 seconds. Accept the friction calibration values and move on to loading the steel compliance sample for calibration. The first step before mounting the steel compliance sample is to zero the gap. I should mention while the gap is zeroing, the maximum length of sample you can use with the torsion geometry is 65 millimeters. Now load the stainless steel compliance sample into the lower geometry. Make sure that you have it centered and vertical and tighten into place. Use the torque wrench to tighten between 80 and 100 centinewton meters. Lower the upper head over the sample and again tighten in place. With the steel compliance sample torqued in position, you must apply an axial force. From the TRIO's control panel, select the axial force control icon and select tension. Set the axial force to 2 newtons with a sensitivity of 1.75 newtons. There are recommended clamping torque and axial force guidelines located in the instrument help menu, but here these values will suffice. Please note that axial force is negative for tensile direction. Now go back to the compliance calibration window and notice that the sample is being held with an axial force. Press calibrate to initiate the calibration. Press accept when the calibration is completed. There are two additional calibrations that remain under the calibration window, gap temperature compensation and rotational mapping. Gap temperature compensation is important to account for geometry expansion. This calibration should be performed with no sample but under the exact conditions desired for your experiment. Rotational mapping is considered optional when using the torsion rectangular geometry as most tests are oscillatory in nature. So we've just set up your torsion rectangular geometry on your Discovery Hybrid Rheometer. You're ready to set up and perform your experiments. Stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips.